Welcome to the Metal Voice, and guess what? Who do we got? We got Michael Sweet and Robert Sweet, first time in person from Stripe. Stri Long time coming. Long time coming, it's guys. It's to be here, brother. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? I guess you're the older brother, right? Yes. The younger brother? Yes. Was he a troublemaker when he was young? Oh, yeah. A little bit. I was, was when I was really young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, M3 Rock Fest. I'm sure you've played this, this this special before. We have. I think this is maybe our fourth time. Maybe yeah, I think it is maybe fourth. fifth, fourth or fifth time. All right. So, what does this festival mean to a striper or to you guys personally? Well, for me, it means it's a celebration of this music. Yeah. You know, I, we just I saw a photo of Pat Sajak. He's here. Yeah. And, and someone took a photo with him, and his wife's a big fan of this music. And to me, that says, wow. It shows that this music reaches people of all kinds, yeah, yeah. and you come here just to celebrate it, to have fun, to enjoy it, and that's what it's all about. It's a good time. You know, uh, I, I, we just watched your set, and like I just finished telling you guys, since we are in Canada, we haven't had the opportunity, or as many opportunities, to catch Striper, so I had to come to the U.S. to actually see you guys. Yeah. And I have to say, for all those people out there, you know, Striper is heavy. <laughs> Maybe he's got a Christian message, you know, in there, inter interwoven in there, but man, this band is heavy, well, melodic, you. you know, I was I was so impressed with your stuff. Thank you, well, Thank you very much. That's nice. We're a loud band. We're a guitar band. We like to come out chugging, and you know, we've always, we grew up on bands like Priest. We yeah. used to listen to Priest a lot, and then we would listen to Night Ranger, <laughs> and we would listen to Journey, and, and we would, I think all those influences kind of are melted into our style. You hear all that stuff. And, and you know what really, I guess, has bothered me over the years? I've talked to promoters, we local promoters, and I always said, you gotta get Striper. But they're like, always a little scared. Do you still get that? I, I don't quite understand it, but yeah, we still get it. I mean, after all these years, it's so strange. I know. You know, I, I, anyways, nobody gets it. I don't it. understand it, and, and we see that when we, you know, not to stir the pot, I'm just speaking no, honestly. No, not at all. I'm just <laughs> not speaking, at all. I'm Michael. speaking honestly. It's like when we, when management reaches out to other bands about yeah. us opening, yeah, they yeah. get a little weird too. And it's always no, you know, they're that Christian band and they don't really give us the time of day. And I think if you see the band live up close and personal, you realize we're, we're a hard rock band that goes out and delivers and our message is different. But... So what? I can't for the life of me understand why Striper isn't an opening up for Priest, why you guys aren't open for Iron Maiden. I gotta ask Priest that. I wish we were. <laughs> We've always wished we were, but we were forced to headline. Yeah, it's just, and, and thank God we've been able to headline Yes. for so many years. But I mean, it would be great to, oh, and an honor to open for Priest oh, or Maiden goodness. or any of these bands. Be incredible. And we you see all the it. other bands from our genre, Queens Reich and all the other bands we grew up on the, on the scene with, opening, yeah. you know, and, but for some reason we never get that call. It'd be really cool. Yeah. All right, talk about this acoustic album that you're working on. We've been working on it. For What's a long it time. called? Acoustic. It was called Acousticized. Acousticized. Now we're getting ready to do a press release. When is this interview going up? On a few days, let's say. Yeah, I, I can mention it now, right? I, we, we have a new name for the album. And the name of the album now is called To Hell with the Amps. That's going to be the title. Actually, I had that there written down. The Hell yeah. with the Amps. So, what, what, do we, what, what can we expect with acoustic? It, it's just. Uh, a lot of our songs uh, in the original version that they were written in. Some of these songs were written on acoustic guitar. Yeah, yeah. Not all, some of them. And uh, I thought it'd be really cool. The band agreed to do go in and do a recording of us doing these songs with a little different translation. You know, and you might not think, oh, striper acoustic, but it works. And the reason why it works is we all sing. Yeah. We've got the harmonies, how many guitars, how many vocals, and it really works. Robert. My brother-in-law asked me, you know, first time he's seen Striper, why is the drum set to the side? I mean, you do sometimes go to the audience, correct? Well, on the acoustic tour, I'll be facing forward. Okay. But on Sideways, I started that in 1979, just to be different. Okay. Because I got tired of looking at drummers and not being able to see them. So I thought, I'm going to turn it sideways. And it just kind of stuck. But on the, So this is going to be an acoustic tour, is that what you're saying? Great acoustic hits, tour. playing... Are, are you going to be playing some sort of per percussion, acoustic percussion? No, yeah, is that he's it? playing a real kit. Yeah, it's a Yamaha kit, but it's small. 
small okay. one, but it's a real kit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're going to have uh, two bass on acoustic, right? We're going to have bass on acoustic, uh, guitars on acoustic, uh, some keyboards and vocal harmonies. And it's going to be really cool. And we've done acoustic different. shows before. They're really, it's really a fun time. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a little different, but I we enjoy like it. it. It's fantastic. And then next year, excuse me, the end yeah, of the yeah. year, we've got the big tour coming up for the uh, new album coming out in September. Well, we're going to talk about that in one second. Is there a documentary with the acoustic set? Not is with. It a there, is, a? there is a DVD with the acoustic set. Okay. So there's okay. audio and video. Okay. And everyone will be able to get that and see that. But the documentary is being worked on right now. It won't be coming until next year. Okay. So let's talk about the new album. Yes. I, I, I saw there was some post that you were working on new music. You've been recording, right? Yeah. Is it album done now? It's all done. Okay. What are we talking about in terms of musical direction? Mm. I think what it's always been in the past 10 years, 12 years, it's kind of similar to the, the last album and the album prior to that. But this album has some different twists and turns to it. You know, and you have to hear it to understand that. Uh, it, when I was writing the songs, I wanted to make sure the choruses kind of went from uh, mm -hmm. the verses might be in a minor chord and yeah. a little more on the darker side, and the choruses go to a major chord and a little bit more on the lighter side. Not lighter, but happier side. Yeah. More major, melodic, more of an anthem, sing along kind of thing. And then when it comes back to the verse, boom, it darkens up a little bit. You hear more of that kind of stuff. And the expected release date? I think sometime in September. Okay, September 2025. 24. This 24. Year. Yeah, 24. This year. Oh, yeah. All right. So Crazy tell enough. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell me about what else Striper is doing in terms of anything new. Okay, you got a full tour, you said before. Full tour? Acoustic tour? Acoustic tour? Yep. Uh, from late May to late June. Uh, and then we prep for an electric tour. Okay. And we're going to come we're going to come out in older style outfits. Yellow, yellow, old black. Yellow, yellow black. songs. Yellow and black. Okay. Playing old songs. Then we're going to take a little intermission, change our clothes, come out in newer style outfits, playing newer songs. That's yeah. going to be what the set consists of. Right. Rob yeah. is going to be doing a drum solo uh, basically in uh, with the shirt off. Okay. And on, on fire. Well, yeah, and on, on of fire. Course. In yes, flames. Yes, of course. <laughs> As it should be. As it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find the message today, you're still getting backlash like you did back in the 80s? Back in the 80s, I've talked to Michael about this many, many times. You got it from the Christian side, and then you got it from the, we'll call it, anti-Christian side. And you just, you can't satisfy anyone. Are you still getting the same backlash on both sides today? You go first. I, I don't think it's quite as intense Back in the 80s, there were a few times where it was like, whoa, what's happening here? I think people have realized, you know, there's no need to be so upset and looking at us in such a bad way. But, um, you know, most people like us. They like what we do. So it's not as intense as in the 80s. I remember Michael telling me some stories. Oh, yeah. My take, my take on that is we live in a world that there's always going to be... Uh, some sort of a wall that's built up when it comes to religion in general. In, in, it's in terms of God and faith, there's always going to be with a number of people a little bit of a, oh, wait a minute. I, I'm not sure why. I was like that before I became a Christian. When, people, when a Christian would come up to me and talk to me, I'd be like, hey, get away from me. I don't want to hear it. I was like that. So I know that feeling. And I think it's a natural... Uh, reaction. It is. For some reason. It's just a natural reaction. But Striper's been able to kind of break down those barriers and see a lot of people come into the Striper camp and appreciate what we do and respect what we do and enjoy it. It's really cool. Is Christianity more under fire today than it was back in the 80s? Mm, I think Generally. so. I think Probably. so. Yeah. I think so. People have. Well, go on, go ahead. No, I, I think so. I, I, I mean, and I, I can only say that because when I post something, yeah. and I, I, I posted a, a picture of a flag and a scripture to go along with that, and I got a bunch of hate. 
for that. People just say, ah, you know, how can you? And I'm like, I posted a picture of a flag and a scripture. What's Only in negative. America. What's negative about yeah, this? In other countries, that's not done. People you make know, it negative crazy. and they attack you. Has freedom of freedom of, I guess, expression also yes. been diminished? Oh yeah, but for sure. Yes, yeah, it goes along with freedom. I don't know about it, how it is in Canada. Well, we don't even start with Canada. But in America, <laughs> yes, I think so. I think you see it a lot. Or at least they're trying to diminish it. And I think so. Yeah. On that note, is there any messages on this new album? Or is it we're just sticking to the same themes? Uh, positive, uh, you know, enlightening, uh, and... A couple twists and turns. Like, there's a, uh, there's a song called Betrayed by Love. Mm -hmm. It's a dark song, musically and lyrically. It's not a happy, typical striper song, uh, you know, that people might expect, like honestly. Yeah, it's yeah. a song about being betrayed by someone you loved, or love. And uh, I think it'll, people will hear that and think, oh wow, this is different. It's a great song, man. it's really cool. But there's little twists and turns here with the lyrics. The lyrics are a little different, uh, and really cool. Can't wait for people to hear it. On a last note, you know what I love? when people who are going through tough times, Michael, can you say a prayer for me? They look at you as some sort of conduit. And I, you know, it's a great, it's a positive thing. It right? is, and I do. And, and, and how I touching will. is that? How touching is that when people reach out to you and they want some sort of... I love it. And some we, sort we of love positive it. energy, we'll call it. We love it. And when we played in Mexico most recently, uh, not that long ago, we had a gentleman that was brought on a stretcher who was dying in... We prayed for him. He wanted us to pray for him. It's amazing. So we prayed for him and spent time with him. But yeah, you know, that's really what we're all about. Yeah. The music's cool, but what we're all about is more so the message and uh, having a positive effect on people. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much. All right, guys. Very good.